Okay, fifth grade, lesson 71. This one is on fractions, decimals, and percents. So you're gonna learn something kind of cool today. First thing I want you to do is draw this on your paper. And tell me how you would write that as a fraction. Two, one. Okay. No, 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 one, two. One two. out of two. So it'd be like half, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now, if I asked you to write this into a decimal number, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's kinda cool. Um, the best way I think to show you is, what do you know, let's, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna put fraction right here, decimal, and percent. Those are the three things you're learning about today. Okay. Okay, so if you did half of a circle, what percent would that be? Uh, half. Wait, okay. Wait, wait. Oh, 50. 50%. percent. Okay, it's because a whole circle represents 100%. Yeah. So if you do half, then you would get 50%. Okay? So, so far, we've written the frac in fraction form and we've written it in percent form. You um. understand? Okay. Now, the cool thing is, is whenever you're looking at a decimal, you really just take and put a decimal point two spots away from this percent mark. Okay. So one, two, it would be 0. 0.50. Okay. You get it? Yeah. Sort of. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the only thing, and remember I could add as many zeros as I want. Remember that? Or yeah. I could even just make it 0. 0.5. And it wouldn't matter? It wouldn't matter because all the zeros don't matter. So I'm going to want to erase that. So did you understand how we got the decimal? How we got the percent? And how we got the fraction? Okay. Very good. All right. Let's try another one. All right. Okay. This time they tell me that my fraction is... 1 out of 10. Okay. So, the very first thing I would do is try to figure out what the percent is then. Okay? okay so, be... instead of drawing a circle, I'm going to just do a rectangle. And how many spots am I going to have? 10. Okay. No, that's 11. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's 10, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, this represents how much? 100. 100%. Okay? So, what is each of these sections worth? 10. 10. Very good. So, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100%. Very good. So, what is one tenth? Is a percent. Just 10. 10 percent, right? 10 percent. Good job. You get it? Yeah. And what's my decimal going to be? It would be point 10. Point 10 10 or point 0.1. Either one. Yeah. They're both right. Yeah. Okay? Now, a cool thing about having a 10 at the bottom, you could actually come up with a decimal before you came up with a percent by using another method. So watch me. See that 10 right there? Uh-huh. Do you remember when we were doing decimal points, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths? Uh-huh. Because there's a ten on the bottom and not something else, it could be ten, hundred, or thousand, but not like five or five hundred or anything like that. It has to be ten, a hundred, a thousand, and things like that. Yeah. But if it is, what place is that? The tenth spot. Uh-oh. And what number's in that tenth spot? One. So, both these answers are the same, <laughs> and they're right. So, it's just a quick little booyah, you know, like, yeah. got it. And then you can take and do that to that because you know that then you would just take the decimal and move it twice to make it a percent. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. So, those are different ways that you can do that. All right? Let's try one more thing. Okay? Now, um... I'm going to draw a percent on here. 
or um, I'm sorry, a fraction. And it's the peace sign, okay? Okay. And now if I filled in one of these, tell me what my fraction would be. I'm gonna just put an F. F filled uh, one third. Very good. Okay, decimal percent. Okay, can I discover the decimal real easy? Uh, yeah, no. kind of. Well, sort of. You just put a point in front of the. Right, but that's if we. That's if, that's when we get the percent. But this is not a ten or a hundred or a thousand. Yeah. So we can't come up with the decimal very easy. Remember that. Yeah. Okay. So, I've got one third, and how much does a whole circle represent? One hundred percent. Okay. And how many sections have I divided it into? Uh, three. Three. Okay, so I'm, would it be fair for me to take 100 and divide it by three to figure out how much is in each section? Uh, yes. Okay, do you see what I'm doing? This whole thing is 100%, and I'm dividing it by three to see what this one is, what this one is, and what this one is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Three goes into 10. I'm going to do these two right here. Three goes into 10 three times. Three times three is nine. Subtract, bring down. Three goes into 10 three times. Bring down. I get one left. So I'm going to pull. Remember what happens here, Emma? I think. It comes up and the three comes over. Oh. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. So how much is this spot worth? What spot? This one. Oh, it's worth uh, 33? Yep, 33 and, and a third. And a third. And this one's worth 33 and a third. And this one's worth 33 and a third. Will that equal 100 if I yes. added all of them? Yep, because 33 plus 33 plus 33 equals 99. And one third plus another one third plus another one third yeah. makes three thirds, which is a whole one, which so makes 100. 100. Okay, so what percent is this filled in? Uh, one third. That's the fraction. Uh, percent, um, 33 and one third. Very good. And that's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. 33 and a third. Percent. Okay? Okay. Now stay with me. Imagine if this said 50 percent. Where would I do with my decimal number? Uh, How would I make 50 into a decimal number? Point five. So what am I going to do with this one? You would do add the, I don't know. Okay, then that's fine. You're not really supposed to. I never taught it to you. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put a point three three. Okay? Yeah. Now, you have not learned this yet because up to this point, you're just taking your remainder and sliding it up. Yeah. Okay? Eventually, you're going to learn how to make it into a decimal number instead of a mixed number. Okay. okay. But until we do that, all I want you to do is go 0.33. Okay. And if you want to, um, you can put this bar over this 3, which shows that it's going to keep being a 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay. It's not real important that you understand how to do this. As long as you're knowing how to do this, you're fine for right now. Okay. Okay. So, now... I don't really necessarily, you're not needing to know that as a fifth grader yet. Or as a, as a fifth grader, you don't need to know what the other stuff that you can do with that. Yeah. Okay, you'll learn that as in probably seventh grade. Okay, now, last thing. Stay with me. You're going to take, and I want you to compare this. Okay, this one kind of goes back to the lesson we did the other day. What did I tell you to do? The most important thing you could do when you're, when you're working with decimals and comparing them. You could underline them and put one to ten hundred thing. Yes, you could. Would that help? And that'll be fine. Yeah, there's one easier way to do it. Do you remember me telling you to line up the, the decimals? The zero and just add the... Oh, that, no, that won't matter. Do you remember me telling you to add up the death or line up the decimals? Yeah. So watch what I do. What can go here? Zeros. Very good. 
So now, which one is the bigger number? The second one. Right. But when you looked at it first, you didn't know that, did you? No. No. So that's exactly right. Okay, very good. Let's try another one. This one they're going to try to trick you. So pay attention. Now you're probably going to have to work it, so you may need to work it on your paper, and that's fine. Okay. Yes? You're doing it excellent. Okay, remember what to do, what to do. I think they're equal. They are equal. Excellent job. What did you get for this answer? Fifty. What? It, where's the decimal? Of uh, four of the five. So point five zero. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So if I took these two numbers, which was the answer to that. Okay, so if I take 0 0.5 and then 0 0.50, well, you always stop after it ends, so we could add another zero, so they're actually equal. Excellent job. Okay, that's lesson 71.